Hey YouTube, what's up? Leo Pazzo, you know what it is. Thanks for tuning in guys. Today we're going to be looking at a new tank. It's a 125 gallon coral reef tank. Uh, you might have seen this tank back in the past about a year ago. I set this up a year ago for my client and uh, today we're just coming back on a regular maintenance on an every three week maintenance to this 125 gallon tank and I just wanted to share this guys with you briefly. So you can see here already that uh, we've already dismantled the can canopy from the tank, the LED lighting that's sitting here on the ground. As well we got the water mixing on to the right as well as the some water about uh, 20 gallons of water siphoned out from the main display tank so here, here you can see is the salt bucket this is the salt that we use on this uh, this tank it's some h2o salt as long as some ro water and uh, you can see the ro water here is just mixing with the salt via a pump and uh, we're just going to test it every five ten minutes to see what the salinity level is at over here in this bucket what we have here are some two new corals we got a brain coral and a bubble coral we just got them acclimating to the tank to the temperature and to the salinity so they get used to it before they enter the tank via this quarter inch drip line here that i have siphoning at the top of the tank here you'll see with this magnetic uh, float here this is a glass cleaner i just wedged it in between the glass to hold it in place while I work in the tank and just monitor the bucket while it drips in. Here we have the skimmer and filter floss. Uh, the skimmer has already been rinsed out, we're ready to install that. Here's the old filter floss and carbon that I uh, took out from the tank and I'm going to give it a nice rinse and replace the new filter floss. There's the 20 gallons of water that we just uh, siphoned out of the tank, it does look pretty dirty. We're going to throw that out. Uh, there's a skimmer housing right there. You can see some PVC plumbing if you remember that approximately a year ago when I installed it all as well as uh, this return pump here, this double return pump that's working fantastic. Here's the fish, just a quick little peek and uh, for the most part that's pretty much it. Next we're going to get started on uh, starting back up the tank, filling it back up with new water once we have it tested to the right solid salinity level and then from there uh, we're just going to wrap up and place the new corals in the tank as well. You can see here that I turned on the main pump of the display tank, the Jubble Return Pump that's filling up the main display tank from the sump. And uh, I'm just filling up the sump here via this uh, pump and this hose with newly mixed fresh uh, salted water uh, that we just pre-mixed. So we're just uh, filling up back the tank here with the new 20 gallons of water that we just changed out with some new salt water. And uh, what I'm doing here, I'm just filling up the sump via this pump and then from there I just turned on the sump pump and that uh, fills up the main display tank. Well guys, it looks like this 20 gallon water change on this 125 gallon fish tank is now complete. So basically what I did was siphon out approximately 20 gallons of water. I mixed up the new salted water with RO water with new salt. And uh, from there we just tested the salinity level and made sure it was in the right area. Uh, from there I cleaned the inside of the glass as well. I cleaned it with basically like a sponge tool, fish aquarium tools, a sponge to uh, wipe off the glass. As well as I had to take the razor blade to the glass tank as well and make sure that it was super clean whatever the sponge could not get off. Um, as well we looked at the sump, uh, we dismantled in the sump we took out the two pieces of filter floss on both of the chambers that it requires filter floss we just took those out along with changing the filter floss we also took out the skimmer collection cap and gave that a nice rinse a nice thorough rinse to make sure it was all nice and clean and then replaced it back onto the skimmer housing and adjusted it if it needed to be adjusted other than that, uh, for the tank, we also had to clean inside the overflow boxes. It just, just gave that a nice wipe down as well inside the overflow boxes, as well as the insides of the sump. We gave the sump a nice thorough clean on all the tank walls. And uh, we also collected some of the debris that was sitting at the bottom of the sump that didn't get really filtered through the filter. So we basically just uh, submerged a submergible pump inside that sump chamber where the debris was sitting at the bottom of the sump and we basically just suspended that into the air or into the water column of the filtration and we basically caught that back out with the filter floss. Well now that the water change is all complete we're going to take another water sample from the tank and take that with me to go get that tested so we're going to test all the water parameters of the tank and uh, we're going to test the before and after water parameters from before the water change to after the water change. 
The two new corals that we placed in the tank today, the brain coral as well as the bubble coral, uh, they're in the tank and they're looking all right. So uh, we'll just stay tuned till next time and the next time we visit this tank to see how those corals are doing and adjusting to the tank. I wanted to point out the amount of coral growth that you could see from this uh, GSP coral here, the green star polyps. Uh, it's been spreading for the last few months all over this overflow box here, so uh, that's pretty impressive. Well guys, that looks like a wrap for the uh, water change on the 125 gallon coral reef tank. Thanks very much for watching, I'd appreciate it. Uh, guys, thanks for all the new subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. But if you have already, thank you very much. Uh, you'll definitely uh, appreciate it and uh, be thankful that you did subscribe. As 2015, we have some new uh, products coming out, some new video reviews, as well as uh, some new cool videos that will be uh, coming soon. So definitely guys, stay tuned. If you like this video and just wanna see other videos like this go ahead and share this video along with my other videos um, share it on the social media networks that you guys use such as facebook and whatnot twitter so guys uh definitely stay tuned leopot so you know what it is thanks for tuning in guys till next time i appreciate it